The strengths of a molecule's covalent bonds are related to the molecule's stability and the amount of energy required to break the bonds. Bond enthalpy is the enthalpy required to break one mole of a particular bond in a gaseous substance. The symbol for enthalpy is capital H. That would be a good thing to know. The bond enthalpy is always positive because you always have to put energy in to a bond to break it. Just like when a bond is formed, energy is always released. The bond enthalpy is somewhat analogous to the lattice energy for ionic substances where we need to put energy in in order to break the ions apart from each other. Large bond enthalpy means that we have a strong bond. Here, in order to break these bonds between the iodine atoms, we need to put energy in and what we get out are two gaseous iodine atoms. We need, in this case, 149 kilojoules per mole of these I-I bonds in order to achieve that. Atomization is the process of breaking a molecule into its individual atom. Let's take methyl chloride, for example, also called chloromethane. If we want to break this into its individual atoms, you can see that we need to break one carbon-chlorine bond and three carbon-hydrogen bonds. You can think of this methyl chloride molecule as a Lego structure that has five Legos and we need to break that into pieces so we have to rip each Lego off. When we're done, we will have an isolated carbon atom, three isolated hydrogen atoms, and an isolated chlorine atom. And you can see we have a space filling model of methyl chloride with the chlorine atom, not surprisingly, taking up much more space than the hydrogen atoms. The bond for a given bond, let's say the carbon-hydrogen bond, varies little between compounds. For example, the carbon-hydrogen bonds in methane compared to those in propane, a carbon-hydrogen bond has about the same bond enthalpy regardless of what compound that carbon-hydrogen bond is in. Typical values of bond enthalpies for specific bonds have been tabulated, so you can always look those up. To find the enthalpy for atomization, you just add up the bond enthalpies for each bond that's broken. So let's try an example. Let's calculate the bond enthalpy for the atomization of dichloromethane. From the name, you might predict that there are two chlorines, and the meth stem here suggests one carbon. So dichloromethane has that formula there. So you can see that in order to atomize this, we're going to need to break two carbon-hydrogen bonds and two carbon-chlorine bonds for every dichloromethane molecule. So what we'll do is we'll look up the bond enthalpies. Typically, these are reported in units of kilojoules per mole. And it's important to recognize what that unit means. That means for carbon-hydrogen bonds, it takes 413 kilojoules for every mole of those bonds. In other words, it takes that many kilojoules per 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd bonds. The bond enthalpy for the atomization of dichloromethane, we're simply going to take 2 times 413 plus 2 times 328. We're going to add that up. 1,482 kilojoules per mole, that is per 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, dichloromethane molecules.